Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. I normally post one to two videos per week on planning, journaling, junk journaling, art, arts and crafts, um, craft room organization, and related shopping hauls. But as some of you know who follow my channel regularly, you know that my husband was recently diagnosed with cancer. And of course, my parents were already living with us because my dad is in hospice in our home for Parkinson's. So yeah, it's been a real journey. But I wanted to show you guys where I come out every morning at 5 a.m. on my patio garden and I spend time with God and I take care of all the plants out here and I just have a really good time of peace to start off my day. I am going to be getting back to um, you know my normal content. I did start doing some shorts so check that out but you know right now life is just kind of dictating what I can do but I thought I'd just show you more details about this space. So here on this back wall, we have some Dollar Tree goodies. So I have the, actually these two picks with the butterflies came from the 99 cent only store, but the welcome sign and the happy and home both came from Dollar Tree. And then this sign right here too, that says so many weeds, so little time. I love that. And then right here on the side of this bench, this little wooden chair I got from Goodwill. It's bamboo, I believe, and I love it. I think it's fantastic and then right next to that and catty corner to that to make a little L I have a couple of benches that I got from Walmart when we first moved here and I really do like them we had to put them together and I also got the seating pad from um, Walmart as well so there's one there and there's one here and I do really like that I want to get some cushions to go on the back as well so I'll be working on that and then under here I have a couple of really interesting things on both sides I have these really giant planters there's two of them that I got from the 99 cent only store I believe they were $7.99 each and I actually use them for storage inside this is outdoor toys for my beautiful grandson and then inside the other one I have the covers that I bought from Amazon to go over the benches and then also in the center I have just a couple of little containers for doing summer things I got those at the 99 cent store and the basket inside holds the hose but I'm gonna stop putting the hose in there I had to get another hose and I'm just gonna wrap it around here like you normally should to help it last longer although that one lasted almost three years so I'm grateful that for that <laughs> and then I have a couple of plants in between there and they're sitting on top of these rollaway um, plant stands that I got they have wheels that I got from Amazon and all the Amazon stuff is in my Amazon store which is in the description below I really like them they're wood and they're beautiful and then this is a boxwood plant that I've had for almost three years and next to that is my beautiful baby red bell pepper plant and y'all I just took seeds from bell pepper from the grocery store you know just regular bell pepper that you eat I saved them dried them and I threw a bunch of them in a pot and I've had this plant for three years and it just keeps producing repetitively these uh, beautiful bell peppers so I'm so grateful and they like the sun so and you know the sun here in the Arizona Valley is something else in the summertime so yeah so that's the other bench and then in between them I have this fire pit that we've only used for like ice and, and drinks and stuff in the summer it actually has a cover in the other area that I took off for now but yeah and I bought the cover for that this part from Amazon also and then here on this side, I have a little table I got from Goodwill and another bell pepper plant. It's a baby bell that I actually got from Lowe's and it didn't produce near as much as my other one. <laughs> so, but it did produce some, but they were much tinier. And all the little stakes that you'll see are from, um, from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I think actually I might've had a couple from um, 99 cent store as well. And of course that's from Dollar Tree. 
and the one over here with the frog is from Dollar Tree also and then I got this beautiful rug y'all from Walmart and it was on sale I want to say it was like 70 it might have been less than that because it was on sale because this is a giant rug and they're usually like well over a hundred dollars so I that was a steal I'm really grateful for that and I love it and I just think you know all the different colors just really work very well together so I'm grateful for that and then up here I have um, some other plants so I just harvested a bunch of sage because they got really tall and I, I have a ton I mean the sage loves it here they love the direct sunlight they do so well so I have one two sorry it's so bright over here um, one two three four plants I have room to put another one so I'll do that next season and then I have some old wood and a pallet in the back I really need to get rid of that old wood because it's in bad shape <laughs> and then I just have some folk flowers from Dollar Tree inside and then these planters that are hanging over the side are from the 99 cent only store this um, and so is that um, clay pot but the hanging plant holder the green part is from Dollar Tree and then I got this little thing from um, the 99 cent only store all of these faux succulents sorry there's a plane flying over are from Dollar Tree and then those uh, water pots are all from the 99 cent only store and I already had this glass table yeah and then this is a stand I got from Amazon some time ago and that's for some of my plants to only do well in the spring I have a couple trying to hold on a little bit yeah look at that y'all that's basil but during the spring they just grow like crazy I have just a little bit of curly parsley still hanging in there but I really need to take that out and I did plant some cilantro and I got a little bit of that to come out as well and I don't remember the name of this plant, but it's so beautiful. I love it. If y'all know the name, say so in the comments below. And I've shared with you guys before that I actually built this table. I bought the, the um, concrete blocks and some construction adhesive. And there's a pallet on top. And I just, yeah. And so I use those little cubbies to put stuff in, like you can see here. There's some things in those cubbies. Yeah. And then we got, you know, um, pallets there also. And I ordered those chairs from Amazon. And then I just have in the front patio as well, I just have some uh, metal buckets. Uh, what do you call that? Galvanized buckets. And then I just punched holes in them to um, drain to have plants. So I have a beautiful plant right here. I don't remember the name of this plant either. So if you know, say in the comments below, but they do very well in Arizona, like you really can't kill them. They're everywhere, at least in the valley anyway. And there's a smaller one right there. And then I got some gnomes from different places. This big one came from the 99 cent only store. And then these little ones over on the other side. Let me get over there so y'all can see. Those were from Dollar Tree, I think. Yeah, I'm 99.9% .9 sure they are. <laughs> and then there's uh, some flowers just in a bucket. I don't remember what was originally in that bucket, but I put some flowers in there and just some of those um, those glass beads from Dollar Tree to hold it up. Yeah. And then back here, of course, we just got um, the grill for my husband and, you know, some a leaf blower, some equipment. We've got the um, things that hold the... Um, or bags pr protecting coolers and um, I have some glass jars that I st store back here I have a place to store some more glass jars and then my husband's bicycle is just right there and then we have what I like to call a little plot of land <laughs> where we have some things growing my husband planted these but I'm caring for them for him now so we've got a tomato plant right there and then we've got uh, planted down in here is sweet potato and then also coming out of this plastic container sweet potato they make the most beautiful vines you guys and once it gets all over this place like this whole little plot will be covered with it then they'll have um, what they call morning glory plant or morning glory bloom that will come out of it and it's so beautiful but like by the evening it's gone I guess that's why it's called morning glory <laughs> And that is pretty much everything. Yeah. Oh, and I also just tied up some 
um, blackout curtains, although the one in the middle is not the right kind, so I have to, I ordered it. I need to replace that. And so I just let those down whenever the sun uh, starts to go past that area, sitting area, so we can have uh, a little more protection from the sun. And then I got the umbrella from Lowe's. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot. And it tells the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. You guys, please take care of your mind, body, and spirit. Because when one area suffers, they all suffer. Please continue to pray for me and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.